Hello, my name is Ethan Coker. I'm a 122 student in engineering and Dr. Borquist Honor Section 3. So this quarter we had our free design project. For my free design project, I decided to build a remote start system for my 1939 Farmall H tractor. And the problem we're really driving at solving here, um, farmers are up at the, the crack of daylight. They're ready to go to work. They need stuff to be ready for them. And so uh, what, one thing that farmers run into is that they need their equipment to run properly every time they call upon it. Uh, tractors necessarily don't do too well when you get on one, run it cold and heavy real hard right out of the chute without letting it warm up first. So with the remote start system, what we aim to do is we aim to allow the farmer to start his tractor from a distance, uh, accomplish some other task in the meantime, and then come back and uh, get on the tractor and have it ready for him and have it ready to perform its daily duties. And so what you see is, you know, we see a farmer walk to his kitchen window, walk to his back door, whatever, reach out, point, start it, and then he can go fix his coffee, fix his lunch, do whatever he needs to do to get dressed. Then by the time he gets ready for the day, uh, his tractor will be ready for him. Um, the components behind the system are really simple. We'll go up and take a look at that here in a second. But for right now, let's uh, let's go ahead and see her in action one time. We got our transmitter right here, and we got a receiver on the tractor, so let's try it. It works really well. We've actually squeezed longer distances out of this. Uh, the backyard's not big enough for us to get quite that far today. Um, so let's go on up and take a look at the components. As you can see, it started up really well. Um, it really took a lot of trial and error to get to this point. If you'll come on up, you'll see we've got our Arduino mounted here. Um, the Arduino is, we've got the VN and the ground on this side, and we've got five volts and ground run to the other side. In the back, you'll notice four nine volt batteries. Those batteries are wired in parallel, and then they plug in on this bus strip and come up and power the Arduino and the system all on its own. Um, We've got a digital pin run to a transistor relay circuit right here. And so essentially what happens is when I press the button on that fob, it called upon the, um, the digital pin to be activated. And when it did so, it closed this circuit on the relay. And the relay, you'll see it has two contact wires coming out. These go to two posts on this 500 amp NVX relay. Uh, the NVX relay is wired, as you can see, it comes off the hot post on the 12 volt battery, and then it breaks the, the circuit and then it comes off on the other side and it goes to the hot post on the starter here. And so what happens is when we press the button, essentially we close this relay, which forces this relay to close and activates the starter and starts the tractor up. You'll notice a yellow LED here. We use the yellow LED, especially when we were testing our, uh, our antenna strength and our reach and our efficiency of our transmitter. Uh, and then you'll see the transmitter receiver back here. The red spiral coming off is our antenna. It comes around, we've got it wrapped around the hydraulic post right now. Uh, it's a little crude in design, but it works really well, and we've tried it up to about 25 yards. It does really well. Still gets a strong signal from there. Uh, we'll eventually improve on that antenna. But uh, overall, this has been a really fun project. Um, I've had a lot of enjoyment working on this this quarter. We had a lot of trial and error to get to this point, though. We definitely uh, struggled in some areas. I uh, fried my first Arduino, ended up having to get another one. I tried to power the system off the 12-volt battery, and that was just a bit too much for it to handle. So when I got the next Arduino, I put it on six volts, and six volts was enough to power the Arduino, but it wasn't enough to close up the 500 amp relay that we needed to activate our starter here. So I ended up putting it on nine volts. Initially, I put it on one of these four nine volt batteries, and uh, it worked really well. We got three cranks out of it, and then the battery died, didn't have enough juice in her left, so we wired four more in parallel, and we've gotten about 20 cranks off of it so far. Um, still counting, still still going, they're still going strong. It's not really weak, you saw earlier, um, it starts off really well. And so that lets us know that four batteries is a way to hold a good reliable charge and that's really what we were shooting for there. We didn't want something that was single use, we want a system that can be used over and over again, be reliable every time it's called upon. Um, but this has been a really fun project. I wanna say thank you to all the professors and all the people who have put in work to make this quarter enjoyable for us. I know that things have been really weird this quarter. Um, it definitely definitely has not been that great not being on campus, but um, still still been enjoyable, still had fun. Uh, thank you for your time and your consideration. That's all.